Welcome ladies and gentlemen. On this here is Tragedy Game and I'm very excited because we are going to play a new game today. Defenders of the Atlantic. This is a free game uh, that everyone can play and it's about the hunt for the Bismarck. So that's kind of uh, fascinating and, and lovely. But before we go into that I want to talk a little bit about the Wargaming community and some news in that regard. Now that news does c uh, relate to Tim Stone. Tim Stone might be known to some of you, to those uh, who don't know him, he's a journalist who's been writing about uh, strategic wargaming and this sort of simulation based wargaming that we do love on this channel and that I personally do love quite a bit. Now, Tim Stone has previously been writing for Rock Paper's Shotgun and his column was The Flare Path. Uh, one of these items that you can see over here, just ignore the advertising and so on. Um, and he's been focusing on this strategic wargaming uh, style of um, things, as you can see, um, that, that is being covered here. So he's a, he's a fascinating um, author. Unfortunately, Rock Paper Shotgun did decide to ditch him. And there are some reasons for that, and I won't go too much into them. But the baseline of that is that one of the eminent voices of strategic wargaming has been, um, well, pretty much put out of commission on Rock, Paper, Shotgun. And I think that is a shame because Tim Stone really is an interesting um, journalist and he does cover the things that I do love and that I do like and presumably if you're on this channel that you do like as well. So, what I want to point out to you is that since he has been booted from Rock, Paper, Shotgun, um, Tim Stone has got this new website over here, the tallyhocorner.com, uh, um, and he's basically aiming to re-establish his writing about strategic wargaming on this site. And this I want to alert, uh, this I want to point to you and encourage you to have a look at it. So um, the link will be down in the description. You can have a look at this. You can also look at uh, Defenders of the Atlantic. And there's a connection between these two things. Um, and that is while I gently scroll through this, you can see this is this is all kind of new strategic uh, wargaming. And that I think is, is very lovely. Now, one of the last items that was on Rock Paper Shotgun's uh, column was a game jam. So basically Tim Stone asked everyone to make me a Bismarck game or code out of cardboard. So basically a lot of people did submit their versions of a Bismarck game as you can see. There are very different things that came out of this um, and it's definitely worthwhile checking out on all of these things. So do take a look at that and if you do feel so inclined do um, maybe subscribe to his, his channel or maybe give him a donation or anything like that. I'm, I'm sure he will appreciate it. Now, the big important thing is the game that we're going to play today, Defenders of the Atlantic, is the winner of this category. So, again, just a free game, just cobbled together quite quickly uh, by the good folks at Speculative Simulations. Now, this game over here, as you can see, it's sort of minimal, uh, but we will be having some fun with it, and I uh, did try to try my hand at it, and it was fun, so I do like it, and I want you to, sh uh, to, to see that. So... Here we go, we are playing the Brits, and this is the early stage of the Battle of the Denmark Strait. So, basically, the moment when the Brits know that Bismarck is on the run, it's departing Norway, um, and there have been intelligence reports on that, but we don't know that much about it more. We do need to protect our Atlantic shipping routes, and we do want to prevent it from reaching um, the enemy now. The exact location of the Bismarck is unknown, as it's intended route to the Atlantic. Thick fog covers its possible locations. You will need to investigate each possible location. Approaching some locations will reveal a sighting of a ship, others will be nothing but MTC. Only once all locations have been revealed will it be clear which ship sighting is in fact the Bismarck. So basically, our first task is going to be to investigate these little clouds that did appear off the Norwegian coast down there. Our assets can be found in Scapa Flow, four ships, and in the Denmark Straits, two ships. Only the Hood and Prince of Wales stand any chance of damaging the Bismarck. But any ship can be used to investigate its possible locations. Select a ship from the bottom, and there we go. Right, so there we go. These are our assets. There are four ships over here, and there should be two a little bit out in the uh, Denmark Strait up over there. You can see sort of the map is turned on its side. So there's France over there, there's, the Brit uh, there's Britain over here. 
and Iceland is over there and on the bottom of the map you can just barely see the Norwegian coast. So our first task here is to take Hood and Prince of Wales and send them out in various locations. You can simply do that via the mouse and um, I think what we want to do here is we want to send both of these guys here towards um, Iceland. Orders received, you will um, give commands to all ships. So basically Hood and Prince of Wales, these guys are going to sail in very close proximity here off towards that gap because we don't know they are somewhere over here and they're going to try to make a break for it either between Britain and Iceland or between Greenland and Iceland. So both of these areas need to be covered. I don't want to station our heavy assets, the Hood and Prince of Wales, a little bit to the rear here uh, while the cruisers do most of the actual work. Norfolk is up over here, so we're going to sail her uh, across there. Suffolk as well. Suffolk does have uh, quite a bit of detection range, so that is very lovely. Um, you are going to check on that. And then we've got Birmingham and I think that's Manchester. Is it Monarch? No, I think that's Manchester. So these guys are going to try to capture and intercept these ships down there. And um, since they don't really intend to fight, I'm going to send them on slightly different courses. And we are going to try to intercept these little clouds over here. Basically, the thing we need to do now is we've um, established all of our orders. So we just need to execute our turns over here. And you can see our ships are sailing out and these guys are sailing out. Now, we don't know which one is um, Bismarck, which one is uh, Prince Eugen. And so therefore we just need to try to select everyone. Let's start out here in the north with Norfolk and Suffolk. These guys are going to sail further. And then we've got Birmingham. You guys are, I think, fine over here. We're going to try to be, let's say, over here to try to see, try to intercept this little cloud, which will probably try to move up this way as well. And then we've got Manchester. I think you guys are going to try to just cover into this direction. And then we've got Prince of Wales and Hood, which are going to sail further towards Iceland. There we go. Let's see, that should be in spotting range here, Ooh, unless it's sailing too far. And it seems like it was sailing too far there. So that's that's unfortunate. Right, let's send Birmingham into this direction. Manchester, you guys can probably sail over here. It's very, very unfortunate that Manchester and... Okay, you know what, we're going to keep the hood slightly to the rear here. Simply so that we definitely can cover this cloud here. That should be okay though. And then we've got Norfolk. Um, you guys are going to cover down there. And basically, we're going to try to desperately uh, de cover these areas here. So I think we've covered an empty hex here, but there seems to be a ship over there. So that is definitely something that we would want to continue to track. We definitely also want to check out these guys down here. So let's continue to sail into these general directions here. And Hood, on the other hand, does seem to have caught something because I think this is an enemy ship here. Um, and previously I hadn't really had the issue, but it seems like you can't quite find an enemy unless you, or, or doesn't give you a notification about the enemy unless there's something about with that. Okay, Birmingham, you guys are going to cover that. And then let's see. Yeah, yeah, there, there is a ship over there. We just don't need to, we don't know what it is yet. Okay, so there are MTCs over here, but there are some some uncovered areas over here still. So I think Norfolk can pretty much stay where you are. Because I'm thinking that these guys will probably sail into this direction here. And Suffolk, you guys are going to just sort of stay where you are as well, hoping that these guys will sail into you. Birmingham, you guys are going to cover over there. And then Manchester, you guys are going to join the chase over there. And Hood and Prince of Wales, you guys can sort of fan out into this direction, carve that as well. Okay, let's execute our turns here. See what we're going to spot over here. Okay, Bismarck sighted. Right, you found the Bismarck. Now you must ensure that it does not reach the Atlantic. Top map patch. Before, the timer for the arrival of the home fleet runs down. Attacks on the Bismarck will halve its speed on the next turn. In addition, damage from strong attacks may permanently reduce its speed or reduce its combat effectiveness. Take care not to lose sight of your target. If the Bismarck does end its turn outside of the view range of one of your ships, it will be lost in fog of war again and your hunt will resume. The Hood and Prince of Wales will always engage when they approach German vessel. 
The other ships will only engage when forced to do when the turn ends too close to the enemy. You must track the Bismarck with care. Right, so I think this here is probably Prince Eugene, and this here is the Bismarck, just based on the side, um, uh, on the size. That's slightly unfortunate because is there, in fact, anything over here? I don't know. Right. Anyway, this is definitely Bismarck. We do want to make sure uh, that we are covering it, um, but we don't want to get too close to it. So I think Suffolk is is a perfect candidate for that because it does have that this viewing range. Um, and that should be a okay. Now, I don't see any ships over here, so I'm not entirely sure on the rules there. Um, but Manchester is definitely going to try to close up to these guys as well. And then we are going to send Hood and Prince of Wales into this direction here to try and intercept Bismarck behind Iceland. I do hope that we're going to make it over there, but let's see. Right, let's execute the turn over here. Yeah, okay, there's no ship down here. And both of the German capital ships are over there in Iceland. So that does definitely mean that Hood and Prince of Wales do need to sprint over in this direction um, and try to get them. Um, Birmingham is also going to try to make it over there. Norfolk, you guys are fine over here, I suppose. And Suffolk, we do want to make sure that we are tracking Bismarck that way. Right, let's execute the turn. Ooh, that might actually close close Norfolk. Ooh, Norfolk did go down. <laughs> actually, Norfolk is sunk over here because we did get it too close to Prince Eugene and Bismarck itself. So that is slightly unfortunate, but at least we do still have Suffolk in the, in the vicinity over here. And I do suppose that you guys will be able to track them quite nicely. Um, what I do not know is whether we've we are standing any chance here with Prince of Wales and Hood to actually catch them uh, because we did waste a little bit too much time down there didn't we I think we did right okay come on don't 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 end up too close okay that's fine right you guys continue to make your way over there Norfolk is gone so we don't need to be too concerned about her anymore right um let's station you slightly ahead and then you're gonna try to close in from from the rear there Okay, they are drifting south. That's um, encouraging because that, I think, does increase our chances um, of actually intercepting them there. Right, let's see whether we can get you guys closer. Oh, 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 not too close though, mind you. Okay, Suffolk, you are, you're kind of running dangerously close. Uh, but at least you guys are fine over here. Let's run you towards an intercept course there. I think the hood might actually go a little bit further to the north there. And that is the essence of this game. Very much this, this wild chase um, of trying to capture both of these capital ships there. Okay, there is an engagement. Prince of Wales against both Bismarck and Prince Eugene. Uh, Prince of Wales being hit in their ammo compartment. Bismarck and Prince Eugene, uh, Eugene not suffering a lot of damage. But still, we did reduce their speed, and that is already very, very important. So that is nice. We're going to try to bring both of these guys here closer to the front there and basically converge with all of our ships that we still have available. In three, in three turns, we do have um, reinforcements there, so let's hope that we are going to try to get there. Oh, at least we did sink the Prince Eugene. That is at least some consolidation. So that is lovely. But I don't know whether we do have enough power here to actually catch Bismarck itself. Okay, Norfolk is gone, of course. Suffolk, Birmingham, Manchester. Bismarck escapes. There we go. We did lose here, but there was another engagement just on the last... Uh, on the last turn here, with Bismarck suffering some ammo damage while Hood is uh, being hit in the steering, or basically suffering some steering damage. So we did manage to slightly, slightly, and I think that does conclude it, right? So I think I think there is there's nothing further to be done over here, uh, but it was very close. It was a close run uh, with the Bismarck here. Had we just caught them a little bit earlier, we would have won the game. This way, we did lose. You know what? Uh, let's try that again. Because I do think it's a, it's a very interesting game. Okay, we do know the drill now. We do need to identify what's going on. And then try to intercept it with our heavy assets. So, again, I want to send out Hood and Prince of Wales. 
Uh, and I think we want to place them directly behind Iceland anyway, simply because I don't know whether they're going north or south, um, but either way, it probably is impossible for us to intercept them earlier than that. Suffolk with its excellent radar going there. Um, Birmingham, let's send you there, and then Manchester is slightly in this direction. There we go. So basically our cruisers are going to try to identify what is what here, um, and that should be okay. Right, Birmingham, you guys sail over there. You guys can try to stay, I think, over here. It should be all right. Maybe we're going to find them there. Hood and Prince of Wales, of course. Did I send Hood? Did I send Prince of Wales? Not sure I did. Right, Suffolk, Norfolk, there we go. Do we spot them down there? Oh yeah, we did at least spot something down there, so that's good to see. Right, let's send you over here, Birmingham. You guys are going to try to cover this area too. You guys are going to go over here. And maybe we, we are going to have more luck this time around. Right, and then Norfolk, Suffolk. There we go. Do we find them? Unknown ship, okay. There is some some type of unknown ship down there. And I'm not even sure whether this is randomized or not. Okay, heavy assets are going to go there. You guys are going to follow this ship. And you guys are going to try to follow there. Let's execute here. It doesn't it doesn't look like it could be um the the Bismarck. Okay, that's Suffolk, Norfolk. You're going to go there. Birmingham, you guys are going to try to follow there. You guys are going to come over here. And then again, the heavy acids are going to sail to the west of Iceland. Okay, the Bismarck is again trying to, trying to scout out this way. But at least I do think we have a better chance of intercepting them this time. Right. You guys. Norfolk. Let's let's try to maintain some distance here with them. I'm not sure that is really going to work. But uh, we are certainly going to try. Very similar pattern this time as last time. Yeah, but at least this time Norfolk didn't blow up immediately. So that's good to see. You know what? I think Suffolk can stay behind a little bit more. And Hood and Prince of Wales. You get closer. And then Birmingham is sort of trailing the pack. There. Norfolk again being a little bit close. But Suffolk I think is doing fine. Can we send you over there? Yeah we can. Manchester trailing a little bit as well. Birmingham. Coming up there, Hood and Prince of Wales coming over here. Right, there we go. Execute. Okay, at least I think we are in a better position here. So let's send up our heavy assets. And I ideally would like both of them to be engaged at the same time. And I think they can be supported uh, by Norfolk over there. Um, although some of our other assets here are trailing, certainly. Right, this is definitely going to end up in an engagement with Hood being damaged in steering and engine. So she's going to have some trouble. Unfortunately, Bismarck and Prince Eugene escaping, um, Prince Eugene <laughs> escaping uh, pretty much unhindered here. Nevertheless, let's try to cover their path sort of this way. Manchester going there. Which have I not? Norfolk? Yeah, no, it did use you Suffolk I didn't use Suffolk okay let's try to engage with you as well simply keep on piling onto them to reduce their speed and effectiveness okay the hood is sunk uh, and their guns are damaged so that is well the historical outcome of course uh, but Prince Eugene has suffered some steering damage that at least is good for us but certainly we are now in a much worse position than we were before uh, with most of our assets, or with half of our heavy assets, uh, being destroyed. Nevertheless, we do have four turns, or we do need to hold them up for four turns. Um, and that does mean we need to engage them every round, if possible at all. 
and it just seems like that was not the case. It's somewhat a little bit difficult to, to identify sometimes where your actual ships are um, because they tend to pile up in, in just a huge mess. But overall, I think we are all right over here. Come on, let's do engage again. Ooh, Prince of Wales being sunk. Okay, my friends, this is... I mean, Prince Prince again being being hit here, that's nice. But Prince of Wales being sunk and the Hoods. Now, that's that's a much worse outcome than, than of course, was true historically. And that does mean our only hope here of, um, of truly... Truly stopping them in the last two turns here are going to be the Cruisers. And... We have indeed uh, achieved victory here uh, because the Bismarck was delayed for such a long time. But at what cost, I ask you? So that is that is definitely an interesting pattern. That being said, I do hope you enjoyed this little game. Uh, do check out all of the other games that were submitted. Some of them do look pretty fantastic, and especially for you know, honestly, such a such a free game. It's it's kind of interesting and and. Uh, just, uh, yeah, in interesting to see. Um, and, of course, again, just do check out um, Tim's website here um, and check out whether you want to support him or not. Hope you enjoyed, guys. Happy New Year, and I do look forward to covering quite a bit of war games with you guys. Bye-bye.